but there's a deeper meaning behind each happy face when I wear it. Welcome back to Hanger Management, where we explore our closets one thought at a time. Hi, I'm Carrie Scott, founder of the Soul Cells Framework and author of the upcoming book, Buddha's Closet, Cleaning as a Path to Enlightenment. This book project that I've been working on will change the way that you look at your closet and it will forever change the way that you look at yourself. The past few years, emojis have somehow found their way into my closet. Happy faces, like this one, like these ones, have been sprinkling into my wardrobe and I'm I love it. It's such a super fun, exciting, joyful way to present myself. But there's a deeper meaning behind each happy face when I wear it. And it has to do with the memory of a friend. I've often talked in previous videos and in my blog and other uh, written items on social media about how spirit communicates with me often through tire swings. Well, another way that I get those messages from spirit is with happy faces like these ones. My friend who passed many years ago uh, when, when he was alive, he painted a very large happy face on the hood of his blue car. And it is so symbolic that this, these happy faces are now so symbolic of him in, in my sort of day-to-day -day living that you really you can't go through your day without seeing a happy face somewhere and it's interesting because I think at the time when he painted the happy face on his car uh, it was a different era before emojis were popular pop, popularized is that how you say <laughs> and kind of coming out of that era of um, you know the songs like don't worry be happy and um, the movie Forrest Gump where Forrest is running along and it gets splashed by mud and somebody hands him a yellow t-shirt and he wipes his face and then hands it back to them and, and when they hold it up there's this happy face that's been sort of uh, created by the, the mud imprint that uh, he left on the t-shirt <laughs> And uh, yeah, it was just such a, a joyful and unique approach to life that uh, my friend held. And it was very contagious. And so it's, it's extra special now to be able to wear items of clothing that sort of immortalize and, and help me remember those moments um, in his life and in my life. And on this particular occasion, it is his 50th heavenly birthday so it seems like an extra special time to be able to have this conversation and, and share these messages of, of joyfulness and, and just a real celebration of life that, that every day can be. I feel so honored in a way to be able to go out and wear a sweater like this with you know the happy faces because I know when I, other people see me too it brings them a certain amount of joy and that's a special gift to be able to give to somebody else um, a total stranger and and often without even you know having a conversation it just gives them a little something else to smile about in their day so our our clothes in our closet hold a lot of meaning often um, meaning that we don't often verbalize and, and have these conversations about, but I am so open to starting these conversations and sharing the stories that each item of clothing in my closet holds for me and to hopefully get you thinking about the deeper meaning that might be living in your closet. And then, you know, as we move forward with these conversations and and these reflections, I hope that you'll be able to recognize where you're gonna be able to implement some discernment and move some items 
into more rotation in maybe the day-to-day -day wearing that you're, you're having with them or maybe take some of them out because maybe they're not bringing you the joy and the dopamine like we've talked about. Maybe they're more representative of a thought that you keep having that you know you're ready to change or a belief that you're ready to challenge. There's so much in our closet and everything is our guru. If there's, you know, if there's one thing I can pass on to you from these conversations, it is to just be more playful in your day-to-day -day activities. I find so much joy and I love playing in my closet and that's why I'm here having these conversations, sharing my hanger management tools with you and inviting you to like and subscribe and, and come back for more and more videos and conversations on this topic. And stay tuned. I mean, if you go to the link in the description, you'll find a link to my website, which will then <laughs> link you to um, a, a pop-up that you can put your information in and subscribe to my newsletter so that you'll know when uh, Buddha's Closet, uh, path, Cleaning as a Path to an Enlightenment is is ready for purchase. Thanks so much for tuning in. Awareness looks good on you.